recording. Okay, so I think we can start. <coughs> uh, this is just a brief uh, introduction to behavior-driven <coughs> development tool Cucumber. Okay, so in the first part uh, we will talk about what is Cucumber and then then we will talk about uh, Cucumber implement implementation in Selenium framework okay. you, 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 using Java. If there are any questions uh, you can stop and, and ask and talk about something. Okay, so <coughs> in, in general uh, what is Cucumber? <coughs> so Cucumber is a testing framework uh, and <coughs> it supports behavior driven development so behavior driven development is uh, is uh, just alternative to for example test driven development and uh, cucumber enable us to write uh, test scenarios almost uh, like in plain english it's called a uh, gherkin language and uh, <coughs> yes behavior driven development is extension of test driven development uh, in both cases, you first uh, should write your tests and then you should start to code uh, application. But difference is that uh, in test-driven development you can uh, write any any type of test, for example unit test. But in behavior-driven development, you you should write tests which describe the behavior of the application. And how uh, how it can uh, look like uh, when you use behavior development in agile words. Uh, you have always at, at the beginning of, for example, two weeks iteration, you have planning. So uh, during this planning, uh, free amigos, so developer, testers, and uh, business people like product owner can sit together, and together they they should uh, write uh, the first draft of these uh, scenarios. And they are feature files. So uh, the Gherkin uh, tests or, or Gherkin scenarios uh, shouldn't be should not be write only by testers, but it should be the product of the communication and discussions between developers, testers, and product owner. And next, when you have this uh, first uh, version of tests. Uh, they should be integrated into continuous integration, into nightly builds, and at the beginning all these tests will fail because uh, there is nothing uh, written, no code there, no code in application, no code in automation test, but uh, during the iteration when developers start uh, code the application and automation uh, QA uh, testers will start to write uh, supporting uh, Java code for for Gherkin, more and more tests should become uh, green, and and the uh, <coughs> ideally at the end of iteration everything should be green. So what are the key points for Cucumber? It's a it's a tool for agile teams, and is behavior driven methodology. Uh, <coughs> in in first place, the creation the creators of uh, Cucumber are saying that it is not automation tool but it is collaboration tool that uh, the main point of Cucumber is that developer, tester and product owner sit together and speak together and create this specification uh, no matter if uh, some tests are automated or not but uh, this is the most important part to speak together and then th the second uh, <coughs> second uh, Second good thing about this is yes, it is automation tool. But as, as they say, it is just a positive uh, side effect. And uh, these feature files, they are called also the single source of truth, because uh, the, the feature files in, written in Gherkin are the specification. So they describe how, sp how the application should behave. So if you are using con the, the test in continuous integration, and uh, the main point is have always green uh, green tests. So you you work on application, you work on tests in order they are synchronized. So you always have uh, 
up-to-date specification because your tests are also specification as, as, as the last uh, bullet here the, uh, the feature files written in Gherkin are, are living documentation because they live along with application but when something change, changes in application you need to also adjust tests because otherwise they are uh, not green but red so you are adjusting also the documentation this is a good uh, benefit Okay, and uh, <coughs> how, how how this uh, Cucumber can be implemented in Selenium framework? So basically, uh, in, in any company or in any team where there, there already is some existing Selenium framework, it's very easy to, on the top of the Selenium framework uh, in Java, to add also a Cucumber. You, you just uh, create a feature file written in Gherkin, uh, then, then you have some test runner which runs the tests, some simple Java Java class, and then uh, you need to have step definitions or glue code which maps uh, the uh, steps from feature file with the rest of the automation frameworks written in Selenium. So we have three three terms here in uh, Cucumber. So first is feature file, so it is file with ex extension dot feature. And it is the test itself written in a Gherkin, which includes uh, one or, or more scenarios. And uh, you, you write, uh, we will see later, you, you write steps with keywords given when then. This is the first, first part. Second part is glue code or step definitions. So it is Java, J Java class, uh, which matches uh, or, or glues uh, sentences or steps from feature file with the rest of uh, Java Selenium framework. So we are regular expressions. It maps the step from feature file with the met classes and methods from the top uh, down 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 part of framework. And uh, then the the last uh, part needed in Cucumber is test runner. So as as I said, it's a Java class. Uh, if, if you are using TestNG, it is called from TestNG, and uh, if not, it's just a Java class, and uh, th there is a, a specified where are stored feature files and where is stored glue code, and uh, also it generates some reports which later can be used in a continuous integration. Okay, here are some uh, Udemy courses which which could be checked and. Uh, we can now look a little bit uh, in the in the code. How does it look looks like? Okay, so I think the best tool for for uh, developing uh, cucumber tests uh, in Java is the IntelliJ. There is a very nice plugin for feature files. And for example, this is uh, this is sample sample scenario for uh, testing Facebook. Okay, so I have here some code. So this is a feature file, always at the at the top. Can you please okay. show me how did you add, add the plugin for for Cucumber and feature files? Uh, plugin into IntelliJ. Yeah. Okay. Moment. Okay, so this is the plugin. Cucumber for Java. And this plugin Yes, you just uh, install it into IntelliJ. Okay. Browse repositories and here you can write. There are also this is installed. Okay, and uh, automatically so you will be downloaded. Uh, Gherkin plugin. It's another. It's, it will be automatically. It will be automatically installed by the Cucumber for Java plugin. Okay. Okay. So this is a. Uh, at the beginning is also name of the feature, and there, there there is one or more scenarios, which you. Uh, which you. The the steps are st starts always with a given when then. And yes, there are more options. For example, in, in this option, 
we send parameters from feature file to, to, to Java code. And for example, this is examples table. In, in, maybe in some later sessions we can discuss uh, more about more options. We have some annotations here. And uh, okay, so this is the basically the uh, the <coughs> introduction how the feature file uh, can look, and from from IntelliJ you can directly run. So w w when you click here, you can run a feature, or if you click on the row with scenario, you can run the scenario. Okay, so this plugin is uh, very very good because. Uh, you don't need to run some uh, Java runner or uh, TestNG or, or, or Maven. You just uh, you, you can directly from feature file uh, run the scenario. Okay, and another so good thing with this plugin. Right? Sorry. Are you directly running it via IntelliJ or are you using TestNG? Yes, yes, uh, yes. You, you can you, you can you can run TestNG XML file. Uh, but you can also run just the scenario directly from from feature file. And, and can I know how did you integrate this with the Chrome driver and Firefox driver? How did you how to add it via IntelliJ? This is this. okay. Uh, so when I I can go directly to any 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 step. It's okay. also very good on this plugin that. Uh, so so this is the glue code. So we are regu regular expression. It is mapped, uh, and then in, in in the method you can write anything you want. So I'm creating a object of of some page and then calling some methods there. And regarding integration uh, with browsers, I have uh, some general step definitions. And here, here I am I am, I am sending. Uh, uh, to to the uh, glue code uh, is sent parameter name of the browser and also name of the operating system. So okay. the framework according to parameters which come from uh, TSNG knows uh, which browser it should open on and, and on on which operating system we are because if it is uh, Windows we need EXE if not we need uh, without EXE. Okay, so this is basically and uh, nice thing about Cucumber is uh, Jenkins integration. So there are uh, it's 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 at the end when you create framework, you just need to in IntelliJ create something, then push it to Git, and so on, and so on. But at, at the end of the way or the end point is to have some uh, continuous integration. Okay. Free meeting will end in ten mi in ten minutes. Okay. Okay. So yes, probably only thirty minutes uh, meetings can be created for free. Okay. So this is just last thing which I want to uh, to, to show uh, very nice cucumber reports on Jenkins. So there is uh, a very good plugin for Jenkins and uh, on on Jenkins. So you need to add this uh, plugin and then we can. Sorry. Do we need to add this plugin into Jenkins so that we can see the reports? Yes, yes, yes. You need to install okay. uh, plugin into Jenkins, uh, then also have it into Git and have it as a Maven project. But uh, at the end, when everything is good, th there there are w very nice uh, reports. So you can see that we have two feature two two features. Uh, features. So in this case, in this case, both of them failed. Uh, we have scenarios for passed, for failed, and here is steps. So we have tw 12 uh, steps passed, for failed, and for skipped. And if we go, for example, to we have a very nice statistic here. How many steps uh, are passed, failed, skipped, pending, undefined regarding scenarios or features? And if we go to to any feature. We can see that uh, okay, here. so here we see that uh, we have one feature file. So th this scenario was failed, and we also see which step was failed and some stack trace. You can also see more stack trace. 
Okay, another scenario, okay, some step is failed, and here are scenarios which passed, okay, so, because if you don't use Cucumber, if, if, if you use just JUnit, uh, in JUnit test you don't see if it is passed, you don't see what's happening there, you just see the name of the test, and on, on this uh, Cucumber plugin is, or, or generally when you use Cucumber and then you see the results in Jenkins, you always see what is happening there even if test is passing. Okay, will you take and any screenshots if it's failing or something? Oh, uh, screenshots, it's, it's, it's the, it, it, uh, is it not a Cucumber feature? In Selenium you can, you can make screenshots, yes. Okay. It's 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 not related to cucumber but to selenium. Okay, and yes, you have also some. Here are just failures and also some friends. You see some graphs here. How many tests were passed? Okay, so so I think uh, for the introduction to cucumber, we can we can finish here. And if there will be any more, <coughs> if uh, there will be time, we can have some another webinars. So I don't know if there are any questions or if we can finish for now, for today. Yeah, we can finish it for now. And when is the next session you're going to plan? Ooh, it depends. I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not Actually, sure. my friend gave, uh, referred this demo, so I, I want to follow up when we are going to do another session or something in future. So y your friend would like to join? O no, my session? friend actually uh, referred me, but she was not actually available, so I am attending the session. I actually recorded, ah, okay. recorded it. I'll give it to her. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have also recorded the session, so if it will be successful recorded, I can I can share the session somewhere on LinkedIn, for example. Okay, so thanks for the attention. Have a Thank nice uh, yep. Saturday and also weekend. So probably we will hear us next time. So thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye.